Good morning, everyone. Most welcome to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Let us pray for Divine Retreat Center Summersby. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center Summersby. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defend. You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Miss Eucharist, let us remember and pray for our own parish priests and all the priests who are involved with our lives, who has administered sacraments for us. We also pray for if there is any priest in our own family, we remember them. We also pray for more vocation into priesthood and religious life. Brethren, let's recall to our mind all our shortcomings and acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With a contrite heart, we pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for the readings. First reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. About remaining celibate, I have no directions from the Lord, but give my own opinion as one who, by the Lord's mercy, has stayed faithful. Well then, I believe that in these present times of stress, this is right, that it is good for a man to stay as he is. If you are tied to a wife, do not look for freedom. If you are free of a wife, then do not look for one. But if you marry, it is no, it is no sin. And it is not a sin for a young girl to get married. 
they will have their troubles though in their married life and i should like to spare you that brothers this is what i mean our time is growing short those who have wives should live as though they had none and those who mourn should live as though they had nothing to mourn for those who are enjoying life should live as though as though there were nothing to laugh about those who life is buying things should live as though they had nothing of their own and those who have to deal with the world should not become engrossed in it i say this because the world as we know it is passing away this is the word of the lord responsorial sam listen to me daughter see and bend your ear listen to me daughter see and bend your ear listen o oh daughter give ear to my words forget your own people and your father's house so will the king desire your beauty he is your lord pay homage to him a response listen to me daughter see and bend your ear the daughter of the king is clothed with splendor her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold she is led to the king with her maiden companions a response listen to me daughter see and bend your ear they are escorted amid gladness and joy they pass within the palace of the king sons shall be yours in place of your fathers you will make them princes over all the earth a response listen to me daughter see and bend your ear gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia rejoice and be glad your reward will be great in heaven alleluia the lord be with you A reading from the holy gospel according to luke Fixing his eyes on his disciples Jesus said How happy are you who are poor yours is the kingdom of god happy you who are hungry now you shall be satisfied happy you who weep now you shall laugh happy are you when people hate you drive you out abuse you denounce your name as criminal on account of the son of man rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy for then your reward will be great in heaven this was the way their ancestors treated the prophets but alas for you who are rich you are having your consolation now alas for you who have your fill now you shall go hungry alas for you who laugh now you shall mourn and weep alas for you when the world speaks well of you this was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters in christ the gospel today the lord is teaching a message fix our eyes on the heavenly reward than all the riches of the earth our heart and our mind is in, uh, is is formed in such a way as we live on on the earth the riches on earth takes our attraction all the time But the Lord is asking us today as we are living on the earth could be joy 
it could be sorrowful but fix your eyes on the on on your heavenly father on heaven the reward in heaven because he says happiness true happiness is not about the possessions on the earth true happiness is not about when people speak well of you on the earth but true happiness consists when your heavenly father feels well of you when you have possessions in heaven than on the earth so fix our eyes on the heavenly reward so dear brothers and sisters today as we go ahead in our life every moment step by step let us hold the hand of jesus today we invite jesus into everything we do today every moment of our life and he will show us how to be happy in whatever we do on the earth heavenly in when we look at our with our eyes with you know the earthly standards certain things are not very joyful on the earth even when jesus speaks about you know when people hate drive you out these are not very good things but see to it that the lord does not drive you out you always have a place in the heart of the lord so as we go ahead let us hold the hand of jesus as long as we hold the hand of jesus as long as we feel the presence of the lord with us today in everything we will find joy and happiness and we have that promise of eternal reward to us so let us go ahead in this day with holding the hand of jesus let us pray god our heavenly father today we ask of you the grace to feel the presence of jesus all the moment with us so that we feel happy in everything we go through this day and we surrender ourselves our body mind and soul unto you and all the plans we have for this day we offer unto you and we pray for your mercy through Christ our lord Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be God forever the humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you O Lord and in this sacrifice in your son this day be pleasing to you Lord God for wash our iniquities and cleanse us from all our sin Pray brethren that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church o god who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our lord amen 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So let's offer each other sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, especially those who are not able to go to church today physically, and receive the Lord. It's your time of spiritual communion. We say this prayer of spiritual communion, inviting the Lord into our heart. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Communion and defend. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty Lord bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's serve the Lord in love and peace. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep our saint the anointed hands, which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, but with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, seal the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be in joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. 